it's homework time. Yes, hep, 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 homework time is here yet again. Let's go ahead and start by jotting our name down at the top of the paper. I'll write my name, you write yours. And then for today's date, go ahead and write today's date. I'll write today. Our instructions here shade the first four units of the tape diagram. So here's the tape diagram. We'll shade the first four units. Then we'll count by tenths to label the number line, which we're doing down here, using a fraction and a decimal for each point. And you see they started for us, written as 0 0.1, 1 tenth as a decimal, 1 tenth as a fraction. Great, they did 0 and 1 for us as well. And then we'll circle the decimal that represents the shaded part. So we're going to shade in the first four units of a tape diagram, 1 and 2 and 3 and 4. Beautiful. Now we'll go ahead and label, we're going to label the whole number line here. So we have one-tenth written as a decimal as 0 0.1. And so two-tenths is a two in the tenths place. Three-tenths is a three in the tenths place. You see how this works? Four-tenths, five-tenths, six-tenths, seven-tenths, eight-tenths, nine tenths, and then ten tenths would be one whole. There we are. And now to just write these as a fraction, you actually read these the same way. It's a beautiful thing about fractions and decimals. What a beautiful marriage, my friends. All right, so two tenths here as a decimal will be written as two tenths as a fraction. We read them the same way. Likewise for three tenths. Isn't that beautiful? Four tenths. That's where it makes me. No, okay. Five tenths. Six tenths, don't start getting sloppy, Mr. McGrath. Seven tenths, I mean, look at that. Eight tenths and nine tenths. And of course, once again, one hole would be 10 tenths. Zero, we could write as zero tenths. Um, so we shaded in up to four tenths. And it's just a circle, the decimal that represents the shaded part that's right here. The 0 0.4 is how it's written, read as four tenths. Look at that. Booyah, moving on. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, how you doing? You doing all right? Okay. Write the total amount of water in fraction form and decimal form. And we have slightly different structures here for this last bottle. You see how these first two are shaded? This last bottle were to do the shading ourselves to show the correct amount, which is given here. So let's deal first with the first two. Um, look where the water level is. So there's five tenths liter is right there. In fact, I'm going to darken this line so you see that's five tenths. If you count one, two, three, four, five tenths, it's at six, seven tenths liter. Seven tenths is how do we write that as a fraction, right? And as we just saw, we write it, uh, we say it the same way and write it as a decimal as 0 0.7. We say seven tenths though. Um, and look at the next one here. I mean, that's it. Uh, so here's five tenths again. And the water level is at six, seven, eight tenths. So as a fraction, we simply write, yeah, eight tenths. Sorry, I can't make this any more difficult. It's just like this. And then again, as a decimal, we say eight tenths, but we write it as zero decimal point eight. And lastly here, uh, we're given a value instead of three tenths. So if here's five tenths, well then there's four and three. So blah, 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 blah. Oh, come on, let's have a little fun. Come on, let me have a little fun. I'm gonna change colors to blue. All right, and now back to black. Back in black, y'all. All right, and so that's my three tenths. Wow, that looks really good. I like my water bottle. Do you like my water bottle? All right, let's be friends. Moving on. Well, once again, our Eureka mathematicians are getting hungry. They got to write about food. And so we have a can of tomatoes and what looks like perhaps, perhaps some compote or jam. <laughs> and it weighs, we see it's written as 0 0.7 kilograms. So 7 tenths kilograms. And so we're to write it in fraction or decimal form, obviously depending on which one we're given. So 7 tenths kilograms as fraction is simply 7 tenths. I know there's all this fancy drawing here and that's all we do is write a single fraction. And now, middle of the night, getting the munchies. 
pickles and yogurt it is. And so that weighs, we see over here, 6 tenths kilogram. To write as a decimal, refer back to what 7 tenths looks like. 6 tenths will look the same, but with a 6. Hallelujah. 6 tenths kilogram. Uh, that's it. Let's go on to number 4. And in number 4, we go from pickles and yogurt to ladybugs. So write the length of the bug in centimeters. Note that the drawing is not to scale. In other words, if you take a metric ruler, centimeters, and put it up on here, it's, it's not like that. Um, so we see our happy little bug friend here is going up to right here. And where is this? This is 5 tenths, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 tenths. So in decimal form, well, I just wrote it. It's 5 tenths of a centimeter. How do I know that? Because there are 10 marks here and it goes up the 5. 5 out of 10, 5 tenths. And of course in fraction we know how to write 5 tenths. I'm not going to pretend that you need to learn this, you know. Uh, if the bug walks 5 tenths centimeter further, uh, where will its nose be? Well, look, I, we could write this out, but I think you can figure it out. Just use this like a number line. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 gets you to 1 centimeter. But if you want to see now, I'm not giving you a full lesson here on addition with decimals, but just to show you that if you were to actually do this, I am going to tell you that these decimal points need to be aligned simply same way you always line up your place values. And so that's where our decimal is. 5 and 5 make 10. Place the 0, regroup the 1. 1, 0, 0 make 1. So if you're looking for confirmation to do the math, to do the addition, there it is. Okay, so it is 1 centimeter. That's all, y'all. Moving on to number five. And in number five, we are to fill in the blanks to make the sentence true, not false, true, in both fraction and decimal form. And so you see these are paired up here. And watch this. Four tenths centimeters plus, wait, and look over here. Four tenths centimeters plus, you see how they're, they're parallel here, just written in fraction and decimal form. Blank centimeters will give you one centimeter. I mean, come on, four plus what makes ten is how you can think of it, right? 4n, yes, 6 tenths will make, 4 tenths plus 6 tenths makes one whole. This is nothing new, right? We did this back in fraction land. So it's just, what. but this is an important lesson. You see, what you learned in fractions, you can apply to decimals here. So 6 tenths centimeters, I can just write it over here in decimal form as 6 tenths. Boom. We'll cruise through the rest of these. 3 tenths and what makes one? 7 tenths. And then just write it over here, same way, in decimal form, 7 tenths. Going to make that zero look more like a zero. Oh my goodness, I made it worse. All right, 8 tenths and what makes one whole? 2 tenths. And so over here we just write it in decimal form, 8 tenths and 2 tenths makes one whole. That's it, we're on to the last one. Cruising. Ooh, matching. We love matching. So we're to match each amount expressed in unit form. Here's unit form here. Two tenths, four tenths, six tenths, seven tenths, five tenths to its equivalent fraction. Here are the fractions. And decimal. Here are the decimals. And you see they did one for us even. Boy, do they love us. Can you feel the love? Two tenths as a fraction. Two tenths as a decimal. Two tenths. That's it. So let me grab a line here. Four tenths. Where's four tenths as a fraction? Yep, you got it. There we go. Four tenths. And now we're four tenths as a decimal. Right there, four tenths. Beautiful. It's like that, and that's the way it is. Six tenths as a fraction, where is it? Six tenths, six tenths, there it is, yeah. I know, if you're like, uh, Mr. McGrath, this is easy. Okay, good. All right, there's six tenths as a fraction, where is it? As a decimal. You got it right there. And now let's look at seven tenths in unit form. Where is that as a fraction? You got it right there, and 7 tenths as a decimal, yeah, all right there, 7 tenths, 5 tenths is our unit form, where is that as a fraction, yeah, all right there, 5 tenths, and lastly as a decimal, boom, right there, 5 tenths, wow, that's a pretty design, it's like a cat's cradle, speaking of, or not, you gone done again. You complete another homework time. Congratulations, good luck, good wishes, good night. I'll see you again next time. It is once again homework time.